Let's make our picnic pasta salad. We're gonna do half a cup of mayonnaise and we're gonna add a half a cup of Greek yogurt. I like the Greek yogurt because of the tang with the mayonnaise and the texture really works well. Then, honey. <laughs> we're gonna do one tablespoon of honey. Add a little sweetness to this pasta salad. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. There we go. I'm gonna just mix this all together. Create a little creamy dressing. Add a little bit of salt. A little salt. Okay, so we're gonna move the dressing over a little bit. Time for my herbs. So I need about a half a cup total of herbs. We're gonna do a bunch of basil, and then we're gonna do a bunch of tarragon. Tarragon works really well with like a creamy dressing. So a little tarragon, a little dill. Both work really well. And we're gonna chop this all up. But you just basically want half a cup of herb mixture. So if you don't like these three combinations, you could do just two of them, you could do one of them. Just make sure you have enough green and enough herb in the creamy sauce. Perfect. And into the dressing we go. I'm gonna just give this a quick little whisk and mix it all together. Because now it's nice and green. Look how pretty that is. Next, we're gonna chop up a bunch of celery. And I love the crunch, so we're gonna do a little crunch from the celery, a little crunch from the fennel. There we go. In. I'm chopping up some fennel. If you don't like fennel, you can leave it out, but the fresh flavor of the fennel is divine. Plus it gives a little Italian flair, which I like in a pasta salad. Okay. There we go. So now I'm gonna chop up some cornichons. I've got about a half a cup. And cornichons are basically little pickles. So you could use regular pickles if you wanted to, but these are like the French style pickles that you see. They work really well with this creamy dressing. So we're just gonna chop up about a half a cup of these guys. And then about a quarter cup of briny, salty little capers. Just give them a rough chop. There we go. And put it right over that. Capers are in. I'm gonna do just a few tomatoes. Whoops, just a couple for color. You could add red bell pepper if you want to for color, if you prefer. It's summer, I like my tomatoes. Great, so now that we have our beautiful mixture, Shane, you've gotta come see this before I mix it because I think it's really pretty, how pretty the colors are together. I'm gonna start tossing all this together. Okay, time for the pasta. Pasta time. So we cooked our farfalle, we drained them, we rinsed them, we cooled them. The reason you want the pasta to be completely cooled, so when you add it to the creamy dressing, it doesn't change the texture of the dressing, because if it's hot, it'll start to like make it all separate. So when it's cooled down, it's the perfect time to add it. We're gonna add all of the farfalle. Here we go. It's a lot of farfalle. Let's break it up. Sometimes when it sits for a while, it starts to get sticky, but it'll be fine. Make sure that all the farfalle have some of the dressing in it. Look, will you taste it? Tell me if I need more salt. Oh, it's good. The little pickles in the pasta salad are really good. Cornichons? Yeah. It also sat for a little bit. All the flavors can really marry when they sit for a bit together. 